If you're an expert skier and you're already familiar with skiing on one ski, remember that there's always a next level. Let me show you a few things that you can try and challenge yourself with. Before you try these moves, you should be very confident skiing only on one ski. If you want to learn this skill, make sure you check out our video how to ski on one ski. Okay, and now to the next level moves. The first move I want to share with you is the cannonball. Lift your leg, hug it and be as compact as possible. Make sure you look up. The starfish is the opposite of the cannonball. Be as spread out as possible. It is of course also fun to switch between the starfish and the cannonball. Many of the things you can do on two skis, you can do on one ski. If you are a very skilled skier, just use your imagination and experiment. The double turn is a fun move on two skis as well as on one ski. If you want to master the double turn, Make sure you check out our video about how to do the double turn after you have watched this one. This one was taught to me by a couple of Norwegians, Stein and Martin, and it is an awesome party trick if you want to show off a bit and do something spectacular. It is also a great way to make a flat slope difficult. You can either grab the nose with one or two hands. Be careful to lift the ski high enough so that the tail doesn't catch the snow. Shorter skis will make this easier since they are usually more lightweight and there is less risk of hitting the snow. This one I got from Arne Hardenberg, who is a former Olympic alpine skier from Greenland. Basically, you do short turns and let every third turn continue into a pirouette. Your pirouette will then alternate between spinning left and right. Everybody has a current limit to their skiing skills and something they can practice to improve. Which is one of the many beautiful things about skiing. Skiing switch on one ski is definitely something I can work on. If you think these moves could be fun to do, you can hit the like button, and if you feel like these moves are easy, just do them without the poles. I hope you learned something from the video. Have a nice day and see you on the slopes.